Welcome back to the County Seat. Our topic today has been uh, wilderness and an editorial from the Tribune. George, uh, we cut you off with a, a, a right at a good time for a response after uh, Claire had just talked. So let's pick up the conversation. Well, I mean, the, the designation of wilderness is important because it does take a lot of uses off the table. But that's the whole point of wilderness is that it's the way the land was before any people got here. There's a value in preserving that. And yes, there will be people who are, are handicapped who won't be able to access that. And and that's too bad. But if 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 it's readily accessible by a vehicle, then it's not wilderness anymore. I guess the big question boils down to what's, what's, a, what's a good mix? I mean, what's a good percentage uh, from, from any of you? What well, you, you, you need, a, you need a, uh, a plan that allows for beautification and preservation, but yet being able to do those things that will enhance that. I had a high-level BLM manager tell me once, show me two mountain peaks in Wayne County. He said, you know how we know which, which one's a wilderness study area and which one isn't? I said, how? We fly over and the one that has all the invasive species, the one that has the all overgrown deadwood and has a poor watershed, that's a wilderness study area. Why? Because we can't get in there and manage it. We can't get in there and remove the invasive species. We can't get in there and do watershed improvement. We can't get in there and, and do things to make it beautiful. So this whole ethic of leave it alone, it's like my kids says, it's so 90s, Dad. <laughs> this whole leave it alone ethic, we need a new ethic that says, yeah, let's preserve things, but let's make it beautiful. Let's, let, let's give us the tools to go in there and do active management. Remove pinion and juniper when it's overgrown. Remove invasive species and in, in, improve watershed. And uh, this, this leave it alone ethic, Chad, is, is a broken ethic in my view. Claire? Uh, ours too. Our opinion in Garfield County, I know I can speak for our people, uh, concerning WSAs, as Mark has mentioned, uh, and I mentioned earlier that we have over a half a million acres of WSAs in Garfield County. Kane County has somewhat more. We have those two counties have the most of anyone in the state. And uh, I would like to see personally uh, someone take up the the problem in Congress. Some of our congressional people and see if they couldn't sunset those uh, WSAs. Uh, those things have been hanging around their neck for th 30 years now, and it's time they were either declared wilderness or taken off the table and uh, moved back to multiple use. Okay, um, we are out of time again. It just that three minutes went too quick. I'm going to invite you to join us on the county seat website, thecountyseat.tv and uh, go to this week's episode and we will continue this discussion there. We'll see you on the other side in just a minute. Thanks for joining us on the County Seat.